everyone thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today and watching my video today's video is going to be about the Janie free Tress equal lace wig and I'm going to be doing a little brief review and also a tutorial on how to apply this unit and also make it look natural that um, this wig is extremely beginner friendly so if you are a person who is a little skeptical about wearing wigs or about wearing lace wigs then this is definitely a perfect starter wig for you because it is very 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 simple to apply second this wig is incredibly cheap for the quality in my opinion this unit was I purchased it for only $17.99 I think normally it retails between 18 and maybe $22 depending on the website of course if you are not sure about purchasing wigs and you don't want to invest a ton of money into a unit then this is definitely a great place to start or if you do plan on investing into a more expensive unit in the future but you don't have any experience with lace wigs then this is also a great place to start just to get an idea on how it feels to wear a wig or a lace wig and to see how comfortable you are with wearing a wig and third this unit looks ridiculously natural for the price I mean so many people like strangers or even people that I do know have asked me like girl is that a sewing or is that your hair like what is it so for a wig especially a $17.99 wig that is a huge compliment for somebody to think it's a sewing or even if they think it's my hair so um ladies so this is what this wig looks like right out the package it has one comb in the back and two combs in the front the first thing you want to do is carefully trim the lace off the front of the unit. It usually goes from ear to ear around the hairline of the wig. And here's a close up of the part on this unit after I've cut off the lace. Next you should part your hair to match the part on the wig. In this case the wig has a side part so I created a side part and laid down my edges to match the wig. I'm going to be flat twisting the remaining hair that's left out in the front. You can also choose to make cornrows. The idea is to make sure your hair is as flat as possible and nice and slick which makes it much easier to apply the wig and it will go on seamlessly and look very natural. Then I just tuck the ends of the flat twist underneath the stocking cap. Notice that I have the stocking cap placed a little bit behind my hairline. As you see when I apply the wig I'm going to be applying the wig a little bit behind my hairline as well. I do it this way because it makes the wig look a lot more natural by placing it a little bit behind your hairline. So while putting on the wig you want to make sure you align the part on the wig with the part that you created. Next step is to apply concealer to the part. Typically I use concealer that's one shade lighter than my skin tone and I just take my concealer brush and I lightly apply it to my part. Additionally I also apply some concealer into the hairline as you can see right here and then I take my finger and I blend it out by applying the concealer to my hairline and to the part and blending it. It makes the part look really natural. You want to make sure you take your finger and you blend out that concealer so it's not noticeable at all. Then I just apply some edge control and that's pretty much it. It's This entire process is really simple. It probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes if that. It's something that you can definitely wake up every morning and incorporate in your morning routine. I was really loving the texture of this hair. This is a synthetic wig, but this hair really mimics kinky straight hair or even yakky and it has so much body. What you guys think about this hair? I am really loving it. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything else about wigs or lace wigs in general, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or you can even shoot me an email. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do post new videos weekly, typically two to three times a week. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of my most recent videos.